After a hard day's work on the courts, USCAA National Championship athletes and coaches will come home to this, Nemecolin Woodlands Resort, a luxury destination resort situated on 2,000 acres in Pennsylvania's Laurel Highlands. As the resort's general manager Chris Plummer explains, the host resort and presenting sponsor will have much to offer. It, they'll be spending a lot of time up at the new Sundial Lodge, which is our new a lodge that we, we built. We've got eight bowling lanes and we have uh, arcade games and, and pizza and that kind of stuff. So I know they'll spend a lot of time up there. Uh, last year, they all you'd always see them walking around looking at the animals and the animal enclosures that are out there. And then also take advantage of some of maybe the, the uh, adventure activities that we got. In March, we'll open up our zip lines and our ropes course and some of that. So some of that fun, fun, fun adventure activities and outdoor activities that we have all throughout property. The USCAA guests will stay throughout the property. At the Chateau Lafayette, the lodge, luxury homes, and townhouses, which are quite popular due to their fully functional kitchens, dining areas, living rooms, and full-size patios. It gives the kids a chance to stay at a really great resort, um, expose them to some things maybe they've never seen before, and that's just part of the experience, and I know why, that, um, why the tournament's very happy of hosting it in Fayette County. A big reason is because these kids get to experience something that they never have and um, really open, open them up to what's out there at a vital point in their, in their college career, too. Nemeco and Woodlands Resort is one of only six hotels and resorts in the world to host Forbes Five Star Triple A Five Diamond Lodging and Dining. I mean, we, we really focus on Triple A number one, or Triple A and Forbes. Forbes is the old mobile. Forbes is a uh, Falling Rock is one of only 56 hotels in the world to have Forbes Five Star ranking. Latrec is one of only 26 restaurants in the world to have Forbes Five Star ranking for restaurants. So we're very proud, and, and when you put that those two together of lodging and dining, we're one of only eight resorts in the entire world that has both lodging and dining um, rated there. But our spa is mobile five, four star rated and AAA four diamond rated. Aquius is four, four star and four diamond rated. Um, the resort in general is mobile, is Forbes four star and, and AAA. So we, we got a lot of awards and, and we, we like those awards and they're, they're very nice, but you know, what gets us going every day is you know, our guests and our associates and making sure that we're providing a, a good experience so we can keep those awards coming in. The USDAA visitors have responded well to that guest driven personalized approach. It's the signature touch at Nemecol and Woodlands. Nothing but positive reactions here, and not only to Nemecol, but just you just our county and our, our region, the Laurel Highlands in general. Um, they're excited to be here. They're excited of all the offerings that we have, and they're really, really happy with the facilities at Penn State as well. That, that, that's a world-class run tournament down there, and, and um, they're, everybody's very happy, and, and we want to we wanna make sure as a community we keep them happy so they keep coming back year in and year out. Chris Plummer says he recognizes the positive economic impact this high-caliber basketball event has not only on Nemecolin, but also on Fayette County's downtown communities. The, this tournament is, is huge for this area, and, I, and, I, and we got to realize that, that it, it's, we're lucky to have it here. There, this tournament, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of areas and a lot of communities that want this tournament, and, and they like Fayette County, and they like Nemecolin. Um, and we need to, as a community, make, make sure we support this. We need to go out and root these kids on, see these kids, and realize that how much, how much of a financial impact they make on our, uh, on our community in a really time when we really need it during uh, early March, late February. So I hope we see a bunch of people out there, and we're real excited to have them back this year and hope to keep this relationship going for years to come. Brian Morozak, Fayette TV.